Hello, I'm Tamia and welcome to KEI. If this is your first time worshiping with us, I would like to thank you for joining us today. If you would like to know more information regarding the ministry, please feel free to grab a brochure off of the front desk. And don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, and at Ben Hill E. Chris on TikTok. Remember, we are big enough to accommodate you and we are small enough to recognize you. Sit back and enjoy the service. Good morning, KAI. Good morning, Kingdom Awakening International. Welcome once more back into the house of the Lord. Oh, give him a praise, hallelujah, this morning, because this is the day that he has made. He has made this day, and we come, we come, we come to rejoice in him today. For he is our Lord God Almighty. And he, even though we rejoice in this day, we truly rejoice in him because he knows what this day is going to bring. He knows that his people are coming.
coming in to give him praise. He knows that his people are coming in to lift him above everything they've gone through this week. That they're coming up, hallelujah, to him, hallelujah, into his presence. Hallelujah, la la la, shata, to let him know, hallelujah, just how much he means to them. I don't know about you, but I thank him, hallelujah, I enter his gates. I enter his gates with thanksgiving. Psalm 100 says, enter, enter, enter his gates with a heart full of thanksgiving. Open your mouths this morning, give him what he deserves, give him what he wants, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the thanks, oh Father. We give you the praise this morning. As we enter in, as we come before you this morning, Father God, we put everything aside, no agenda this morning. You, oh Father God, you are our agenda this morning. Hallelujah. We want to welcome, hallelujah, everyone this morning into this house, Kingdom Awakening International. We welcome our family back and we welcome our first time visitors relax enjoy the service receive what god has for you and we also welcome our viewing audience this morning come right in come right in and join in with the service hallelujah we welcome everyone to come with us as we go forth hallelujah into the presence of our lord god almighty this morning hallelujah i do not apologize this morning for having no agenda the whole Holy Spirit, hallelujah, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, to come in, have your way, Holy Spirit, orchestrate whatsoever you desire to orchestrate today, hallelujah, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, we welcome the very host of heaven, we welcome the angels to come in, hallelujah, and join in with the presence this morning, oh, Father, before we start, we give you thanks, we give you a hearty thank you for those that you have placed over this ministry, those you've had entrusted into their tutelage, Apostle Ben Healy Chris and his lovely wife, Prophetess Cicely Chris. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the word that you've deposited in them. We thank you, Father God, for the anointing that's in their life. We thank you, Father God, for the way they bring forth the word. Hallelujah. With no apologies, Father God. We thank you for that word of truth, oh, Father God. We thank you that is a rich word, a true word, a word that brings light, a word, hallelujah, that reshapes our perception. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, that that word that is laid before you today will hallelujah align you with him align you with almighty god hallelujah we thank you father god this morning hallelujah glory glory to your name this morning oh we just thank you I ask everyone this morning to just take a little bit of time to cross-examine yourself before we go before the Lord so that we will lift up clean hands and a pure heart before him hallelujah oh father search us search our ways you know you know us you know the things we don't know so this morning oh father god we just ask you hallelujah that anything we've said or done that was against your word that was not in your word father god that you would forgive us for our sins our transgressions our iniquities and father god we thank you that you're a mighty god and you said that whatsoever we do once we repent you do not even remember it you throw it away as far as the sun is from the moon, you throw it away. So we thank you, Father God, as we enter into your presence this morning, Father God. With clean hands and a pure heart, oh, Father God. Oh, we thank you this morning. Glory to God. Oh, he, there's no other God like him. He is the only God, the one true living God. Once more, make yourselves at home. If you want to shout, shout. You want to stand, stand. You want to run the building? Run! Whatever you feel like, this is your house too. I'm going to read from Psalm 103 this morning. The forgiving God. My soul praise Yahweh and all that is within me praise his holy name. My soul praise the Lord and do not forget all his benefits. He forgives all, all your sins. He heals all your diseases. He redeems your, your life from the pit. He redeems it. He crowns you 
with faithful love and compassion. He, he satisfies you with goodness. Your youth is renewed like the eagle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord execute acts of righteousness and justice for all that are oppressed. All, not some, all. He revealed his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel, and he yet revealed his deeds to us. Thank you, Lord. He will not always accuse us or be angry forever. He has not dealt with us as our sins deserve or repaid us according to our offenses. Hallelujah. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his faithful love, faithful, faithful love toward those who fear him, those who love him. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions away from us. Glory to God. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, who reverence him, who love him, who go after him. Hallelujah. For he knows what we are made of, remembering that we are of dust. And I thank you, because this is a God that we all serve, that loves us in spite of ourselves. So once more, we come. We come to tell him thank you. We come to lay, lay, lay up his name. We come to raise his name. We come to adore him. We come to praise him. We come to walk with him. We come to seek him. We come, hallelujah, for him today. Eh, because he's been good to us. He's been good to us. Check yourself. He's been good, hallelujah. Oh, he has delivered us from the snare of the enemy. So we deserve to give him what he deserves. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, come on, get on your feet. Give the Lord the glory that he deserves. Give him thank you. Give him thank you. Hallelujah. He is good. Hallelujah. He deserves the praises of his people. Enter into his gates. Enter in with thanksgiving. Enter in with praise. Hallelujah before the Lord. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Do I have somebody that loves Jesus up in here? Do I have someone that loves Jesus? Hallelujah. Do I have someone that loves Jesus? Hallelujah. Jesus steps in the room. Break a step in the room right now. Hallelujah. Stop looking like you, you, you don't know what's going on. God about to do some things up in here tonight. Hallelujah. This morning for the families. Somebody say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Do you really love Jesus? Let him fill your heart. Let him fill your heart. Hallelujah. Break a step in the room. Let everything that be done, let everything be done decently and in order on this morning, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, have your way on this morning, Lord God. Have your way. Hallelujah. The breaker, destroy every yoke, lift every burden right now in the name of Jesus. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Is he worthy to be praised? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you right now, Lord God. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're removing every negative thought, Lord God, from our minds, Lord God. You're removing every negative word, every negative tongue right now, Lord God. The Bible let us know that we cast down every imagination, every high imagination that would try to exalt itself over the knowledge of God. We, we come against it right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you. Every negative word that has been spoken over families, we come against it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every negative word that has been spoken over ourselves, we come against it right now in the name of Jesus. we got to make it personal on this morning. Hallelujah. Families, I decree and I declare, hallelujah, that the deliverance will flow, hallelujah, in our house. Deliverance flow in my house. Deliver Healing flow 
flow in my house. Hallelujah. Healing flow in my house. Hallelujah. The Bible says in John chapter 14, verse 18. Those that have hear, ears to hear, hear. The Bible declares, once again, this is the amplified version. John 14, 18 says, and Jesus is speaking, I will not leave you as orphans, comfortless, bereaved, and helpless. I will come back to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You will live also. On that day, when that time comes, you will know for yourselves that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Thank you, Lord, for freedom in the service on this morning. Father God, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you said, Lord God, in your word, Lord God, that you are a father to the fatherless, Lord God. Lord God, we come against every hindrance right now in the spirit right now, Lord God. Father God, we renounce jealousy, we renounce strife, we renounce bitterness, we renounce anger right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray right now, set the captives free. Lift every burden right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for families right now, Lord God. A house divided against itself cannot stand, Lord God. We thank you for your spirit, Lord God. We thank you for your love that's filling this place right now. We thank you for your peace that's filling this place right now, Lord God. Heal this temple right now, Lord God. Heal your people right now, Lord God. Under the sound of my voice, even on live stream, Lord God. Touch their families right now, Lord God. In in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that you have your way in this service on this morning, Lord God. We thank you for our leaders on this morning, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for them, Lord God. Continue to bless and watch over them, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for your revelational knowledge, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, destroy the isms and the schisms right now, Lord God. We come to glorify you, Lord God. We come to lift up the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. Every Every need be met, Lord God. Not no one leave the service the same way that they came in on this morning, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we're so careful to give your name the glory. We're so careful, Lord God, to give your name the honor, Lord God. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus that we say amen and amen. Oh, Father God, we thank you, Father. We give your name the praise on this morning, God. We give your name the glory, God. Father God, we thank you, Father God. We exalt your name, oh God, in this place on this morning, oh God. Father God, I thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that your word, oh God, will be established on this morning, oh God. Holy Spirit of the living God, we invite you in this place on this morning, oh God. Father God, we thank you, God. When you step into the room, oh God, lives will be changed, oh God. Your people will be delivered, oh God. We thank you, God. Have your way, oh God. In this place on this morning, Jehovah God, we worship you, Father. We worship you, God. That's no other name, oh God. Under heaven, oh God. Under Sheke. We worship God. We praise your name, oh God. We thank you, God, that your people, oh God, come this morning, oh God. Hunger, God, thirsting for you, oh God. Hunger, God, thirsting for an answer, oh God. Father God, we pray on this morning, God, that you meet your people, oh God, at the point of their need, oh God. We thank you, God, that you prepare their hearts, oh God. Prepare their mind, oh God, to receive from you, oh God. And Father God, we thank you, dear God, that they will never, oh God, be the same, oh God, because of the encounter, oh God, that they have on this morning, oh God. We worship you, Jesus. We welcome you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, we thank you, God, this morning, God. We give your name, God, all the praise, the glory, and the honor, God, that is due your holy name. God, we lift you in this place, Father. We magnify 
magnify you, God. We thank you, Father, that you, God, are our refuge and our strength, oh God. It is you that is a very present help in time of trouble, God. We lift you this morning, Father. We thank you, God, that you're coming to see about us on this morning, Father. Your word says, God, that he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And God, we just thank you this morning, God, that we have a resting place in you, oh God. We thank you, God. We desire this morning to abide with you, God. We desire this morning to abide in you, God. We desire, God, to sup with you on this morning, Father. We desire, God, to commune with you this morning. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place, oh God. God, we give you free course. We give you free reign. Holy Spirit, have your way in this house. Holy Spirit, we open our minds to you this morning. We open our hearts to you this morning. We say, come in. We say, come in. Abba, Father, come in. Holy Spirit, come in. Consuming fire, come in. Oh, God, we need you this morning, God. Oh, hallelujah to your name. We give you praise this morning. We magnify your holy name, God. We lift you, God. We exalt you, God. We extol you, Father. We adore you this morning. Come in, Holy Spirit, and have your way. Take your rightful place, oh God. Take your seat, Holy Ghost. Have your way in this sanctuary. Have your way in the lives of your people this morning, God. We honor you, God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless you this morning, God. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody lift up your hands for Jesus. Come on, somebody lift up your hands for Jesus. Come on, I need somebody to make some Jesus, uh, some noise for Jesus in the house. Come on, where my Jesus lovers at? Come on, I'm going to come on this side. Uh, where my Jesus lovers at? Can we make some noise uh, for Jesus? Can we make some noise uh, for the Lord of Lords, for the King of Kings? Uh, can we make some noise for Jesus? Uh, can we give him glory in the house today? Uh, can we say, Lord, I thank you. Uh, can somebody just lift up your voice and say thank you. Huh? Some of you weren't supposed to be here today. Huh? I dare you to open your mouth and say God I thank you that you kept me in my right mind. Huh? God I thank you that you healed my body. Huh? God I thank you that you brought me out. Huh? Everything in me says thank you. Huh? Come on can I get my people huh? those of you on this side that love Jesus huh? with all your soul huh? with all your heart huh? with all your might. Huh? Can you just shout thank you. Huh? Can somebody just give God a shout. Huh? Come on, I'ma come over on this side. Huh? Come on, where my huh? where my people at? Huh? That love Jesus huh? with all of your heart, huh? with all of your soul, huh? with all of your mind. Huh? Oh, come on, can we give them glory? Hallelujah! Come on, can we give them glory this morning? Huh? Can we just say thank you, God? Huh? Can we thank God for His favor? Huh? Can we thank Him for His love? Huh? Can we thank Him for His faithfulness? Huh? Can we thank Him for His grace? Huh? Can we thank Him for his mercy because if it had not been uh, for the Lord on your side uh, come on yeah I'm talking to you uh, I'm talking to you uh, if it had not been for the Lord uh, on your side uh, tell me where would you be uh, oh the enemy had a plan uh, but God had a plan oh uh, hey God uh, can we just bless him today uh, can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? The Bible says, thank you, God. Everything in me says, thank you. Come on. Everything in me says, thank you. Come on. I don't know about you, but everything in me says, thank you. Everything in me screams, thank you, God. My soul screams, thank you, Jesus. When I walk into the thick of trouble, hey, you keep me alive, God. When I walk up into the den of the enemy and I don't even know I'm in the enemy's den. Oh, God, you keep me alive. Come on. I don't know who this is for today, but I dare 
dare you to give him a praise. I dare you to give him a worship and say, God, I thank you that you delivered me out of the hand of the enemy. Even when I didn't know, God, that I was right in the midst of the den of my enemies. God, you delivered me. God, you saved my soul. You brought me out of the pit and you kept me alive to tell it. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but you better give them glory. Give them glory. Act like you know the God that you serve that brought you out even when the enemy thought that he held your bondage. My God. My God. Come on, somebody look at your neighbor and say, but my God, I don't know about your God. I don't know the God that you serve, but I know my God. My God brought me out. Come on, I hear the sound of freedom. I hear the sound of deliverance in the house. Come on, do you hear the sound this morning? Come on, do you hear the sound? I hear the sound of freedom. I hear the sound of deliverance. I hear the sound of healing. Hey, where my free people at? Oh, I only got a few free people on this side. Come on, we gonna try this again. Where my free people at? Come on, I didn't say where my boy, my where my broke down people at? Where my busted and disgusted people at? I said where my free people at? Oh. Come on, I'm gonna come on this side. Where my free people at? Hey, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Where my free people at? Come on, I didn't say my depressed people. I didn't say my people who suffer from anxiety. But where my free people at? I hear the sound of freedom. I hear the sound of deliverance. Oh, come on, can we allow God to have his way today? Can we allow God to have his way? Can somebody say, I'm saying bye to fear today. I'm saying bye to anxiety. I'm saying bye, 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 bye to everything that has been trying to keep me bound in this season. Come on, somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but this is my coming out season. Because I'm coming out of that situation. Come on, those of you that are watching online, you coming out. This is your season to come out. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying on today. But my heart is already. My mind is already. My soul is already. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of this situation. Hey, because fear is not my future. Because lack is not my future. Come on, you better open your mouth. How many of you know that your mouth is your primary prophet? You better open your mouth and begin to prophesy over your future and say fear is not my future. Lack is not my future. Poverty is not my future. Sickness is not my future. Oh, y'all ready to praise him? Y'all ready to praise him? Y'all ready to praise him? Oh, y'all don't look like y'all ready to praise him. Come on, I didn't say praise the Dallas Cowboys. Come on, I didn't say praise the Saints. Come on, but I said to praise the name of Jesus. Oh, you ready to praise him? Come on, are you ready to run around and give him glory? Oh, come on, you better worship him today. Hey, somebody say fear is not my future. Fear is not my future. Oh, Baba Oh, Jesus, I love this song. It got a little twist to it, but we're going to worship today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Healing is in this place today. Hallelujah. Deliverance is in this place today. Come on, somebody say, I receive my healing. I receive my deliverance. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, fear is not my future. Hallelujah. Woo! Jesus. Hallelujah. Let him turn it in your Yes. God is going to turn it in your favor. I don't know who I'm talking to. He's going to work it for your good. Come on, do you believe it today? Hallelujah. He's not done, He's not with, done what with what he started. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
He's not done until he makes it good. Come on, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but God is not done. He's turning it in your favor. He's turning it in your favor. Hallelujah. He's going to work it for your good. Come on, can we thank him today? Can we bless him today? He's not done. Yes, God. He's not done with what he started on the inside of you. I'm here to tell you today. Hallelujah. Woo. Hello, peace. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Hello, strength. Hello, hope. Come on, somebody look at your neighbor and say, It's a new horizon. It's a new day for me. Hello, joy. Hello, love. Woo. Hello, strength. Hello, Hello, strength. It's a new horizon. Come on, you may have come into the building week today. Woo. Come on, you ready for a breakthrough? Come on, how many of you ready for a breakthrough? Hey! Woo. Yes, God. Open up and receive. Yes, God. You've ever seen. You've ever seen. You've ever seen. Woo. Hello, peace. Hello. Do you believe that it's a new day for you? Do you believe that you're on the brink of a new horizon? Huh? Come on, do you believe that you are walking into a new season? Huh? Come on, do you believe it today? It's a new horizon. Woo! Come on, just begin to tell yourself it's a new horizon. It's a new horizon. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Yes, God. You are, you are. He says, fear is not my future. Sickness is not my story. Come on, is that your declaration today? Fear is not my future. Come on, let me hear you. Fear is not my future. Sickness is not my future. Sickness, hallelujah, is not my portion. Death is not the end. Come on, you better begin to prophesy it out of your mouth. Fear is not my future. You are, you are. Sickness is not my story. You are, you are. Woo! Heartbreak is not my home. Come on, can you de decree and declare today? Heartbreak is not my home. Hey, death is not the end. You are, you are. Can we say hello to peace? Can we say hello to love? Can we say hello to joy? It's a new horizon. Hey! Hello, strength. Hello. Hey! Woo! Hello. It's a new horizon. Yes, God. Fear is not my future. You are. This is not my story. You are, you are. Heartbreak is not my home. You are, woo, you are. Woo. Death is not the end. You are, you are. Hello, 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 love. Hello, joy. Come on, huh? Can we say hello to peace? Can we say hello to peace? Can we say hello to joy? Hey, sickness is not your story. I'm here to tell you today. I don't know what you've been going through, but I tell you today, sickness is not your story. Death is not the end. Hey, you are, you are. Sickness is not my portion. You are, you are, heartbreak is not my home. Come on, you better decree and declare it over yourself. Hey, death is not the end. You are, you are, woo. Jesus. Yes, God. 
Come on, I'm here to tell you today. There's more to your story. Come on. It doesn't end here. There's more to your story. That the resurrection was not complete. The biggest lie is that this life is all that there is. Yes. And so we live in a fear of not knowing that God's work is complete in us. Jesus. And the problem with not having confidence in the resurrection yes, is that we don't know when the end if we will live again. But I want you to know that the pain you face is temporary. The cancer you face is temporary. The disease you face is just temporary. Because every believer that's washed in the blood of the Lamb will yes, live God. to live again. How many of you know that this is not oh. the end? This is not the end. This is not the end. This is not the end of your story. I'm here to tell you today, this is not the end. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, God. Uh-oh. This is not the end. Woo! Hey! This is not the end. This is not the end. Woo! Hallelujah! Hey! This is not the end. This is not the end. Come on, do you believe it today? Do you believe that this is not the end? Come on, I don't know where you at in your life, but God is saying this is not the end of your story. This is not the end. This is not the end. Hey! Yes, God. Goodbye. 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 Woo. Come on, tell it by. Goodbye pain. Goodbye shame. It's a new horizon. Come on. Huh? Begin to speak it out of your mouth. Goodbye shame. Goodbye pain. Goodbye guilt. It's a new horizon. Come on. Huh? Goodbye depression. Come on. Huh? I don't know what you're dealing with. Goodbye. Huh? Goodbye anxiety. Come on. Begin to speak it out of your mouth. Woo. Hey. Yes, God. Yes, God. Woo. Yes, God. Yes, God. Woo. It's a new horizon. Let the light in. It's a new horizon. Let the light in. Come on, lift up your hands and say, God. It's a new horizon. It's a new day for me. I let the light in. Let the light on in. Let the light in. Let the light in. It's a new horizon. Yes, God. Yes, God. Ooh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. You're doing a new thing. Come on, do you believe that God is doing a new thing in your life? Come on, do you believe it? Come on, do you believe that God is doing a new thing in your life? Come on, yesterday is gone. Yesterday is your past. Come on, you done stepped into a new day. You done stepped into a new horizon. God is turning it around for you. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through, but God is turning it around. He's turning your situation around. Late in the midnight hour, he's going to turn that thing around. It's a new horizon. Jesus. Yeah. Listen. It's a new thing. It's a new I'm thing. here to tell you. My God is working. Your God is working. Hey. Come on, I'm it's here to tell you today. Thing. It's a new thing. The it's tables are turned. Woo! Hey! Woo! Hey! 
because my God is working. Come on, is your God working? Come on, I'm telling you today, he's turning the tables. The tables are turning. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey! Because my God is working. Come on, do you believe it today? Come on, you better act like you know that God is working in your life. That the tables are turning in your life. The tables are turning. Come on, I dare you to turn around where you, right where you are. And say, God, I thank you that the tables are turning in my life. Hey! Woo! The tables are turning. Woo! Hey! Hallelujah! Because my God is working. He's working, he's working in your situation. He's working in your behalf. Hey! Yes, God, the tables are turning. Cause my God is working. He's working, he's working, he's working behind the scenes. He's working in your situation. Hey! Woo. Yes, God. We thank you, Father. Yes, Jesus. Ooh, ba -ba -ba -sa. Yeah, the, 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 the tables are turning. The tables are turning. Come on, do you believe it today? The tables are turning. The tables are turning in the lives of your children. The tables are turning. The tables are turning. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Do you believe it today? Everybody, look at. Are you ready to say bye? Tell those old things. Bye bye. Tell them. Come on, y'all ain't ready. Come on. Bye, 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 bye. Come on. Tell your past bye. Woo. Come on, y'all ain't ready. I'm going to come on this side. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Come on, come on. You ready? Bye, 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 bye. Bye, cool. Hey, come on. I'm going to come on this side. You ready to say bye to your past? Hey, come on. I don't hear you. Bye, bye, bye. Come on. Hey. Bye 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 bye. Come on, let's make the enemy mad. Hey, whoo! Come on, I see your sister Tamara. Hey, bye bye bye. Come on, tell it bye. Say bye to your anxiety, bye to fear, bye to depression. Come on, I don't know what you're dealing with, but I dare you to tell it bye on today. Hey, bye 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 bye. Whoo! Hey, bye bye bye. Some of you ain't ready to say bye to your past. Hey, but those of you that's ready, come on, I dare you. Bye, bye, bye. Hey. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. Hey. Bye, bye, bye to depression. Bye to fear. Bye to anxiety. Bye to sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, can we give Jesus a hand clap of praise? Can we give Jesus a hand clap of praise? And say fear is no longer my future. Depression is no longer my future. It's gone. Woo. It's gone. Your self-esteem. It's gone. Gone. All gone. Come on. Come on. Do you see it? Come on. Come on. Woo. It's gone. All gone. All gone. It's gone. It's yesterday. It's gone. It's yesterday. It's gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. I need a witness. Gone. I need a witness. Gone. I need a witness. Hey, come on. Do I have a witness today? It's all gone. What I love about this movie. Hey, hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Father. That deliverance is in the house on today. Come on, I don't know what you need to be delivered from, but I dare you to thank God. Open your mouth and say, God, I thank you that my deliverance is in the house. My healing is in the house. The chain breaker is in the house. The bloodline cleanser is in the house. We say bye to our past. We say bye to yesterday. We say bye to the Mose, to everything that the enemy is trying to hold us down. Everything that the enemy is trying to keep us bound. We say bye. We say bye. We
we say bye 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 we say bye to depression we say bye to stagnation we say bye to sickness we say bye to poverty we say bye to lack we say bye to the most hey it's all gone we don't have to be neighbors. Hallelujah, Jesus. We don't have to be bad fellows. Yes, God. So Hallelujah, say, Jesus. I want you to say it with confidence. Hallelujah. Can you say it with confidence out there? I said, can you say it with confidence out there? Yes, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come. Come on, I don't hear you. It's what? It's what? Is what? He's a new creature. It's gone. All gone. All gone. Do you believe it? It's gone. Do you believe it? It's gone. Is it real to you? It's gone. Is it all gone? All gone. It's not in your house. It's gone. It's not in your mind. It's gone. It's not in your finances. It's gone. It's not in your future. All gone. It's gone. Heaven's victorious. It's gone. It's got your name on it. Hallelujah. It's got your name on it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that it's all gone. Come on, do you have faith enough to believe it today? Come on, do you have faith enough to believe it today? That it's gone, it's all gone. All gone, it's gone. Gone, it's gone. All gone. Yes, God. Hallelujah. We worship you in this place today. We welcome you in this place today. We welcome you in this place today. Come on, lift your hands and say, God, have your way in this place today. Adonai, have your way in this place today. Come on, can we welcome Adonai in this place today? God, you are the God of the living word. You are Elohim. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are our peace, God. You are our healer. You are Jehovah Sitkanu. Come on, can we worship him? Can we allow him in this place today? The horrible Satan, you are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. We welcome you in this place, God. Saturate us with your presence today. Yes, God. Come on, can we worship him? Ooh. Come on, can we worship him today? Woo! His presence is here. His presence is here. Hallelujah. We worship you today, Jesus. We lift you up in this place. Can we bow before him? Hallelujah. Yes, God. Woo! Come on, can we worship his presence? Can we reverence his presence? Can we honor his presence? You're worthy, Jesus. We worship you on the night. Come on, can you lift up your voice? Come on, let's activate your voice in the spirit and say, God, I worship you today. God, I give you glory in this place today. Yes, God. You are the living word. Woo! To the setting of the same. Your name. Your name is to be honored. I don't Worship you with this place today. We bow before you, Jesus. At a night we worship. At a night we give you glory. At a night we honor you. At a night we bow before you. At a night we reverence you. At a night. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I don't know.
the battle nine. Jehovah Rapha, we hallow your name. Jehovah Nisi, we hallow your name. To the same, to the We hallow your name, we worship the Jesus, we hallow your name, Jehovah Sikhani, Jehovah Sikhani, you are the living word, you are the living word, you are the living word, we worship you in this place today, we reverence your presence, Jehovah Shabbat. You are our healer, Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. Adonai, we worship you. We bow in your presence. Adonai, we lift you up. In this place, we reverence you. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes, God. We're left. We're left. Yes, God. We're left. We're left. We left it. You are the lifter of our heads. You are the lifter of our heads. To the Oh, Adonai, 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 
We call upon you today. Thank you, Father. Come and see about us. We worship you. Hey, we call upon you today, Adonai. We call upon you, Adonai. We call upon you, Adonai. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. From the rising of the sun. From the rising of the sun. From the rising of the sun. We call upon you, Adonai. Late in the midnight hour. We call upon you, Adonai. We cry out to you in the morning. We cry out to you in the midday. We cry out to you in the midnight. Come and see about us. Come and see about me. Come and see about me. I dare you to worship and say, Adonai, come and see about me. Come and see about me. Come and see about me. Come and see about us, Adonai. Come and see about us, Adonai. We worship you today, Jesus. We worship you. You are our deliverer. We need the deliverer to come and see about us uh, we need the healer uh, to come and see about us Jesus Adonai, 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 we call upon you today. We call upon you, Adonai. Come on, can you just call upon her? Can you just call upon Adonai? Come on, can you call upon Adonai today? Jehovah Jabor, we call upon you. You are the mighty one. You are the mighty one. You are the mighty one. From the rising of the sun. Yes, God. To the going, to the setting of the same. We exalt you, Lord. Yes, God. Can we call upon him today? Come on, can we call upon him today? Can we call upon him today? Can we call upon him today? Jehovah Jireh, you are our provider. We call upon you today. Jehovah Nisi, we call upon you today. Jehovah Shalom, you are our peace. We call upon you, you are our peace. In the midst of the storm, we call upon you today. We call upon you, Jehovah Jehovah. You are the mighty one. You are the mighty one. The Lord strong and mighty in battle. We call upon you today. You are the God that fights for us. You are the God that fights for us. You are the God that fights for us. From the rising of the sun. Your name is to be hallowed. We hallow your name, Jehovah Jireh. We hallow your name, Jehovah Sikkenu. We hallow your name, Adonai. Adonai. From the rising of the sun, we lift you, Adonai. We lift you, Jesus. You say, Jesus, word of the way, your name be lifted up. We lift you up, God. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up, lift you up in this place. We lift you up in this place. Have your way in this place today, God. Have your way in this place today. Have your way in this earthen vessel. Have your way in this earthen vessel. I give you permission. Come on, can we give him permission to have his way in us? Can we give him permission to have his way in us? Have your way in us, God. Have your way in us, God. Have your way in my life. Come on, can we give him permission to say, have your way in us? Have your way in my home. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my heart. Have your way in me, Jesus. Have your way in me, God. We call upon you, Adonai. 
We call upon you, Adonai. We hallow your name, Adonai. We hallow your name, Adonai. We bow in your presence. Katila Masote. We lift to Jesus. We lift to Jesus. We lift to Jesus. We lift to Jesus. You are Adonai. You are Adonai. You are Adonai. We welcome your glory in this place. God. You are early on. We welcome your glory in this place. God. We welcome your glory in this place, God. We welcome your glory in this place. reach out to someone around you hold hand with that person and begin to pray for that person just reach out to someone and just pray for that person as the Holy Spirit leads you to them just minister the word of the Lord just minister prayer to that person someone needs comfort someone needs comfort someone needs comfort someone needs comfort Someone needs internal comfort. Someone needs healing. Yes, God. Someone needs strength. May the Holy Spirit strengthen us today. May the Holy Spirit strengthen us today. Yes, God. Pray for that person you're holding and with. Release the strength of God to that person. Release the strength of God to that person. Release the strength of God to that person. Release healing to that person. You have it inside of you. Release healing to that person. Father, we ask you this that you will bring healing. Bring healing to this heart. Bring healing to your people today, Pray for deliverance. Touch your people today, God. Touch your people today, God. Yes, God. Yeah, just pray with that person. Someone needs some love this morning. You don't know what that person has been through this week. You don't know what that person have been through last night. You don't know what that person have been through even this day, today, this morning. But they made it right here today in church. Pray for that person you are holding hand with right now. 
may the strength of God come upon you may healing come upon you I know you've got battles that you're fighting there are battles there are warfare there are demonic resistances trying to stop us from becoming what God has designed us to be every day we face this battle the temptations the temptations the test of our faith every day every minute every second the enemy bombards our mind with all kinds of ideas and all kinds of thoughts all kinds of thoughts to break us to break us to keep us under in bondage and that's why we got to pray for one another release love to somebody this day release the love of the father to someone today someone needs that love of God someone needs that love of God release that love spirit of God spirit of God we worship you we worship you we worship you we worship you God we worship you God just continue to pray for that person just continue to pray for that person just continue to pray for that person as the love of the father engulfs us today as the love of the father engulfs us today spirit of god 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 move in this place holy spirit manda soko soto liada satatata manda sakata zida masote etabrida sataya baleko sa volume on my mind thank you jesus we can control this move of god the lord is my shepherd everybody we can move we can we can we can control this move of god he goes before me thank you jesus he goes before me. yes god defender behind me defender behind me yes i won't fear i won't Filled with anointing, I'm filled with anointing. Thank you, Jesus. My cup's overflowing. My cup's overflowing. Don't stop praying for one another. Don't stop. Don't stop. You can still move to someone else and pray with that person. It's okay. Pray for as many people as the Lord leads you. Jesus. Jesus. Fear have no place in this house. Fear have no place in this house. shout Jesus right there he always guides me he always guides me <laughs> mountains and valleys mountains and valleys <laughs> his joy is refreshing his joy is refreshing thank you Lord restores my soul restores my And Ooh, oh, give me assurance. Give me assurance. Oh, 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 that I'll see your glory. I'll 
this together I receive the love of the Father I receive the love of the Father I am loved by my Father I am loved by my Father thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now say this we bless you God Yes, God. Yes, God. So I will walk in your power. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit lives with me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, God. Bless you, God. Yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Abba Shata Masa. Katabri Naso. Adaba Satan. Shadaba Sone Kosata. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. wants us to know today we are never alone no, you are never alone it is a lie that you are alone the goal of the enemy is to convince you beyond reasonable doubt that you are alone and that you can go that, that you, you, you're going through this all by yourself no one cares your father cares your father cares your father cares he is with you do you understand this god is so with you in every situation that you're going through he is with you and that's why you need to be strong in the lord and in the power of his might you gotta be strong in the lord and in the power of his mind. But I'll tell you this today. The only way to be strong in the Lord. Is to seek him. Is to seek him. When you're going through something. It is you're seeking the Lord. In the midst of what you're going through. Your strength comes from seeking him. 
never you allow the enemy to get you to that place where you don't seek the Lord because if you come to that place where you don't seek the Lord what happens is this the enemy oppresses you so much so that you lose your mind there's something God has placed in every man in every human being is the ability to to uh, to be resilient the ability to be resilient and the Holy Spirit works with that in you when you have God in your life and when you have the Holy Spirit in your life the Holy Spirit works with that that imbued that inherent nature of resilience and the Lord strengthens you to overcome the situation never you go through life without seeking God tell your neighbor don't go through life don't go through life without seeking God don't go through life don't do life without God don't do life without God come and give the Lord praise this morning hallelujah hallelujah are you blessed to be here this morning are you blessed to be here this morning somebody shout I made it <laughs> I made it. The enemy wanted to stop you, but you made it anyway. Huh? Anytime you come in here, anytime you come in here, right here, this ministry, this, this assembly, anytime you come in here and there is a fight over it, you know you are going, you, you know you are doing the right thing. Because in other places, other places you used to go to, it's just easy. It's just easy. But when you come in here, it's a fight. It's a fight. Then you know you are doing the right thing. Because the enemy won't say, the enemy will never let you have it that easy. No. He will give you a thousand reasons. Every reason, everything distracts you in every way to stop you from being here. Because your deliverance is in this house. Yeah. I say your deliverance is in this house. Your turnaround is in this house. The shift in your life is in this house. Somebody shout, it's in this house. It's in this house. Why is it in this house? Why is it in this house? Because we have been sent and commissioned by God to be in this place. Amen. We're not doing church. We're not doing church. Please, let me, let me explain this to you. This is not church. This is the gathering of God's people and God together. It's the coming together of God of heaven and earth. It's a coalition of heaven and earth. It's beyond, it's beyond the conventional church. Amen. So if, we see, if you see us do things the way you've never seen it before or the way you're used to, please just make that adjustment and embrace it. Because we are not following any pattern. We are not following, no, we are not following, we are not following earthly patterns. We, we're not following any reference point. We are responding to the sound that is coming forth from the corridors of the, of the spirit. Yes. Are you with me today? Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning. And how are we doing today? Yes. Blessed. Let's do, our go let's do a governmental prayer. Everybody say governmental prayer. Government say it again. Say governmental prayer. Government you know, the word government means to rule. It means to rule. So this declaration is going gonna, is gonna to bring you to that place of rulership. That place of dominion. Having dominion. Because that's what God has called us to do. To have dominion, to have authority, to walk in authority, to have dominion. All those little demons, all those little, little demons that continue to distract you. You, you, you got to declare over, you got to declare this, this governmental prayer over those demons. Praise God. Those little demons, little stuff, little, little, little things, you know, that keep distracting us from what God has, has purpose for us. Let's make, let's make a declaration. Let's make this, de this declaration. So, me, let, okay, let's all do it together. Father... Remove the okay, okay. You want to do it after me? Okay, you want to do it after me, or we do it together? Should we vote? Huh? Huh? I know it's faster, but how do you want it? 
together? Oh. Okay, let's do it together. Father, remove from me, remove me from inaccurate connections that will not bring me into the fullness of your purpose. Wait. Wait, it's too fast. Let's, let's, let's get back on it. Let's get back on one. Let's get back on one. Father, remove me from inaccurate connections that will not bring me into the fullness of your purpose. Woo, Just that alone. Yeah. Just that alone. Inaccurate connections. You're connected to the wrong people. These people bring out the worst in your life. They could be family. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It could be anybody. It doesn't matter. But that it is inaccurate connection. So this is one prayer you got to be praying. Every inaccurate connection that is not producing the fullness of the purpose of God in my life. Let me be taken out of that. Take that away, oh God. No, number two. Number two. Let's go together. One to go. Lord, join me unto those that will speak. Develop me and speak the right things that will activate divine movements in my life. That's what you need. That's what you need. You need people in your life. You need to surround yourself with people that will develop you and speak the right things into your life. And activate divine movement in your life. Glory to God. You, you connect with some people. All they do is to bring you down. Discourage you. Discourage you. They keep giving you reasons why things can never be better. So, you know, some low energy people. Disconnect from low energy people. You have a life to live. And you have to live that life to the max. To the, to the ultimate. Glory to God. Let's, number three. Number three. Mm. Give my spirit development and shape. And let my humanness be balanced. Make me whole, healed, and complete in you, in Jesus' name. Ooh. You feel it? You feel it? Do you feel it? Number four. Number four. Okay, number, yeah, number four. Show me the architecture and the map which you have designed for me. For my personal life and for my family. We need that. You need that. You need to ask God, show me the design. Show me the architecture, the plan, the template. How have you, what is your plan? How have you designed my life? Show me the design of my life so that I could live my life according to that design. Because I tell you what, you'll be 60 years old and you are yet to walk in the design of God for your life. I used to go to this barber shop somewhere in uh, New Iberia. No, no, not New. No, Samanve. And there's this guy who used to come into the, sh the barber shop. It's an old guy. He sweeps the hair on the ground. I guess he's in his 60s with his pants sagging at 60. And I said, he has missed it. He has missed it. This cannot be the design of God for this man. And one day they were cutting my hair and the Lord opened my eyes in the spirit while he was sweeping. They were cutting my hair and my eyes were open in the spirit and I saw how this man, how things started in his life and how he went to jail and ever since he spent time, did time and came out of jail, his life have never been the same again. designs the design of God today huh he was a good basketball player just imagine that but today he sweeps hair in the barber shop divine architecture divine blueprint what is God's pattern what is God blueprint for your life what is God's plan and purpose for your life family today this is today's deliverance day deliverance Sunday you are going to pray we are going to pray and get our life back in track somebody shout back in track say I'm getting my life back in track and that's why the devil fought you from being here this morning 
because it doesn't want your life to get back in track. Glory God. Let's do number five. Let's do number five. Father, show me my limits. Give me government. Grant me discipline and structure that I never go past divine limitations. Structure. Your life needs structure. Your life needs structure. Discipline. Structure. Stop waiting to be motivated. Stop waiting to be motivated to do things that you got to do. Discipline is higher than motivation. I don't care how lazy you are. I don't care how tired you are. When you are in bed, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you're still in bed, and you need to use the bathroom, and you can walk, you will get up. That doesn't need motivation. No one needs to motivate you to get up and go use the bathroom. You will get up to go use the bathroom. That's the same kind of discipline you need to inculcate, you need to integrate into your life. So that you move by discipline, not waiting to be motivated. Not waiting to be told what to do. But you understand that your life has a time limit on earth. And you must live it to the fullness now. Eh? You got to live it now to the fullness. You're not waiting for 2026. You're not waiting for 2025. What if it doesn't come to you? Now. Everybody say now. now. Everybody say the spirit, the spirit. of now. now. Glory to God. You see that, that I never go past my divine limitations. You must know your limits. Don't take more than you can handle. You can't be everybody's savior. Huh? You can't be everybody's savior. You can't please everybody. You can't help everybody. Are you with me? So, so, so you're helping people, you're helping people, and then you finally get burnt out, and you, 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 you're exhausted, you're burnt out, you're discouraged, you're, you're messed up now. You should know your divine limits. Know the limits. Know it. The Holy Spirit will show you. The Holy Spirit will tell you. Okay now. That's it. That's enough. You know, I, there's this group. I belong on social media, on Facebook. Uh, about pastors. Pastors group. And on that group, a lot of pastors, you know, posting all kinds of stuff. And one day someone posted something that they are hungry. They are hungry. They need, they need help. They need prayer. I just know. Then they said they were hungry and they, 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 they discouraged and all of that. So I, I commented. I commented and I posted that. I posted something to encourage that person, to strengthen that person. I did that first. as the first thing to do. Then a few days again, a few days later, this same person posted again and said they are hungry. I said, okay, now this is calm. And how many people might have fallen for that? Send the money to this person and they are scammed. You must know your divine limits. When you help people, help people. Love people. Love everybody. Help everybody. I mean, love people. Help people as much as it is in your power to do so. Because I'll tell you what. If you don't know your divine limits, you will be depleted. If you are depleted, who is going to take care of you? Number, number six. Six is the last one. Thank you, Father. Let's go. One to go. Remove from me the dark shades of the natural realm. The barriers, the boundaries, and the blockages on the path of my destiny. Everybody say, everything on my destiny. Anything blocking my destiny. Clear off. I clear it off. Be cleared out in Jesus' name. Everything or anything blocking the path to my destiny in Jesus' name, I dismiss you. I dismiss you in my mind, my thoughts in Jesus' name. Be dismissed. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. Let's be seated. Welcome this morning once again. I'm not going to be long. I just want to touch. I'm just going to share something with us quickly. And then we're going to pray and minister. Because it's family deliverance. Amen. We welcome those of you worshiping with us for the very, very first time this morning. 
Amen. Come on, family. And as, on those of you who are also watching us online for the very first time, we also welcome you on this morning. Thank you for joining our broadcast this morning. And we pray that you will be richly blessed by the word of the Lord and by the presence of God that we are really, really enjoying at this time. Amen. We are streaming from fa on Facebook and YouTube right now. And uh, while you see that, please just pick up the link and share the broadcast with somebody. Amen. Just share the broadcast with someone who is not in the service this morning because this word and this, this move of God today is going to impact them even if they are not here. Amen. Share the broadcast. Go on YouTube, Kingdom Awakening International, Facebook, Kingdom Awakening International. Share the broadcast with with, with your friends and your family this morning. Amen. They're really going to be blessed. And those of you watching online, if you have a prayer request or any need in your life, you can post it on the prayer, I mean, on the comment session. Uh, and we'll be definitely looking, we'll be definitely taking it up and looking into it. And uh, we'll be attending to it. Amen. Amen, family. Y'all can hear me? Thank you, Father. We give you praise. So those of you worshiping with us for the first time, please, we would like to know you better. After the service, don't be in a rush to go. Um, we're going to want to like have talk with you, just get to know you. And uh, hope you've also, uh, Paulette, did ever, does the newcomers, new, uh, the, the visitors, do they have, uh, no, should I call them visitors? Let me not call them visitors so that they don't, they don't just come and go. <laughs> Those are the first timers. Okay, first timers. It's just the first time. Uh, the first timers, do they, do they have the card? Did you give the card to everyone? Okay, so if you have the card, if you're a first timer, please make sure you fill that, that card. Fill it correctly. Fill it right. Don't, don't write in Doc Doc's handwriting. I'm just joking. All right, they just fill it in a way we will understand it. Amen. All right, thank you, Father. So after the service, uh, after the ministry of the word, prophetess is going to come, you know, for a few announcements, which are very, very important. There are a few things we're going to be doing in the, I mean, in the coming month. Uh, our five years anniversary is, in, is on its way. I mean, it's going to be happening soon. So she'll be coming uh, forward with all other information. And if you want to be, a, let me just say this, if you want to be a, a part of uh, this family, a member of this family, a part of this family, you want to be part of this ministry, um, please do see Pastor Betty. Pastor Betty, you want to you want to stand up and let them know you, let them know who you are. That's Pastor Betty, amen. The beautiful first uh, woman of God. No, 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 not first lady. Oh, first lady in her own capacity. <laughs> All right. So we see Pastor Betty, and uh, she will uh, attend to you on that. Amen. Amen. All right. Are you ready this morning for the word of the Lord? Somebody say family deliverance. So last night I couldn't come online as some of you expected. I was out. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I tried. Tried to get out. I said, no, I'm going to be so useless. Let me just go to rest. So I decided to go rest. I had walked three miles. I usually do walk three miles, got back home. I was just, that was it. I said, you know what? I'll see them in church on Sunday. <laughs> All right. Praise God. Amen. All right. So let's start up this morning as we begin to visit the subject on family deliverance. Last week, we started on the subject of family deliverance and we touched a lot last week but we didn't finish and that's why we have a part two every one of you under the sound of my voice right now in this house God is saying because you came because you came something will shift in your life Because you came, something will shift in your life. But you must open up your spirit to receive. You must open up your spirit to receive. Turn with me to the book of Genesis. Genesis. 
chapter 37. And verse 5. Genesis 37 and verse 5. Now Joseph had a dream. And he told it to his brothers. And they hated him even more. Now Joseph had a dream and he told his brothers and they hated him more, even more. Give me verse 8. And his brother said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? He's the youngest. Shall you indeed reign over us? I'm going, to, I'm going to skip the part of the dream. You can read it yourself if you are not familiar with that story. Because I just want to go to the main point. They said to him, Shall you indeed reign over us? Because the dream was very powerful, was very deep. And the dream was referring the interpretation of the dream is that his father, his mother, and his brethren, his brothers, his siblings, were all going to bow to him. That was a dream. He's the youngest. That is boy. He's, in the, he's the youngest. Now the youngest is having a dream that the father, the mother, and all his brothers, 11 brothers, they were all going to bow to him. Now, if you come from a big family, you have a lot of brothers and sisters in your family, you have a lot of siblings, you already know that there's a rivalry among, among the family, competition, there is jealousy. Not every family, but it's, it's, un, it's not uncommon. Envy, jealousy, rivalry, competition, favoritism, you name it. All of that exists in large families. So we are seeing it playing out here because some of his brothers, his brothers came up to him after he had a dream. And they were saying, wow, so are you saying that you who is the least, you are going to reign over all of us? Look at that. Shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? Now that question is not coming from a sincere place. It's not coming from a heart that is truly questioned for answer. It's coming from a heart that despises. A heart that despises the other person. He's, they are speaking from, a, the, from the place of, of you know, to despise him they were to despise they were despising him look at what the bible says look at what the scripture says or shall you indeed have dominion over us so they hated him even more for what his dreams and his words that was the beginning of the warfare in the family of Jacob. That there. That, that thing there. That right there. That's when the warfare in the family of Jacob started. It started with one person who had a good dream. Now you don't have power. You don't have control over your dreams. Right? You don't have control over your dreams. You can say, okay, tonight I'm going to dream seeing myself in Paris. Tonight, I'm going to dream, see myself in the most beautiful vacation place, vacation location. You don't have power. You, have, you, don't, have over, you don't have control over dreams. Dreams come as a result. There are many factors that controls dream. One, one of the factors that controls dream is the, that the, you dream sometimes based on where your life is. Where your life is, what you're going through, the, the current situation of your life. You dream about stuff like that. That's one. The number two, you can also dream. God will allow you to have a dream to tell you about what is to come. 
And then number three, God will also allow you to have a dream of the past. And it could refer to you or it could refer to someone else. Oftentimes, if it doesn't refer to you, it refers to someone else. It means that God has chosen your spirit to communicate that dream so that that person can have clarity. And maybe that person has been praying, God give me understanding about this situation that happened in my life so many years ago or I'm going through it right now. God will now use you. You will become the answer to that prayer and God will use you to give clarity to that dream. That's why sometimes you dream so much about other people but you don't dream about yourself. And sometimes some dreams are just nothing. Bible says, Dreams come by the multitude of the business of the day. That means to say there are some dreams that will come just because you were eating a pecan candy. Yesterday, last night, you were eating pecan candy uh, from Waffle House. And then the next thing you see yourself eating this big waffle, waffle with pecan candy, candies inside and you were eating it. It's, it's what you were eating before or what you had a few days ago. Dreams can just be like that. So there are many factors to dreams. And then there are dreams that come to you based on the fact that there is something inside of you that needs to be dealt with. And it's still, and that thing that needs to be dealt with, you don't have understanding about it. You don't know that's what it is. In, you don't know what, is, what that thing means in your life. And so God will reveal it to you. For example, you could dream, you could dream, uh, you, you could, no, let me, let me not use this illustration. Maybe too strong. You may sleep at night, and then you would dream seeing someone that you know fighting with you, oppressing you, fighting with you. But in the open, you guys don't have any problem with each other. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. God is showing you something deep beyond, I mean, behind that smiling face and that nice, you know, behavior towards you. God is showing that to you so that you can pray about it. It means there's more than in that person walking secretly behind your back against you. Things do happen like that. Then, this other part, this other part, this other part whereby you will dream and you see in the dream like you were being uh, you were being maybe you're in a hospital bed Let's, let me just use this is lighter let me use that maybe you may dream seeing yourself in the hospital bed but you're fine your appetite is good you're, you're healthy you're good but you dream you see yourself in a hospital bed and something like that, and you wake up from that dream. God is saying to you, there is something, God could, be, God could be saying to you that there is something about your health you need to check. These are all different aspects of dreams and why people dream and all of that. But for Joseph, he had a dream, and in the dream, he saw the father, the mother. The Bible says he saw the moon, the sun. The sun, the moon, and the stars. The, the sun represent the sun represent his father. The moon represent his mother, and the stars represent his brothers. He said in this dream, he saw in the dream that these all these constellations of the heavens, they all bowed down to him, and that means all his brothers, his entire family. God has elevated him to a place. God is showing him, I've elevated or I'm going to elevate you to a place where your entire family will benefit from you based on this promotion and this elevation that will come to you. Now, is that not a good thing? Huh? This, re this dream means that Joseph has become the gateway to the blessings of God in the family. But they lacked the, the siblings lacked understanding about this dream and see what happened. They hated him even more. For what? For what? Come on, talk to me. For what? For his dreams. For his dreams. For his dreams. Why are we talking about family deliverance today? 
Why are we dealing on this subject today? We're dealing on this subject today because there are some things that have happened in families that has opened the door for all kinds of demons to harass, possess, oppress our families. This right here has just opened the door for hatred, for envy, for jealousy, for competition competition for rivalry you name it that door has just been sprung i mean sp you know has just been opened in this family that door just opened now everything from this moment that joseph had that dream and shared it with his brothers brothers from this moment the scripture says they began to hate him so from that place of hate their relationship, the dynamics of their relationship have just changed. It's no longer, oh, I love you, brother. Oh, that's my brother. They are now operating from the spirit of hatred. Hate. Hate opens the door for destruction. Hate is the gateway to destruction in families. With hate, it means there's no forgiveness. With hate, it means you continue to despise that person. You may smile, mm, you may smile in their face, but down deep inside you, you hate them. And we could say stuff like this: I can't stand them. But we are family. We are the same brotherhood. We are the same parents. We are of the same family. We are the same, you know, name. We we come from the same tree. We are all the same. We are, we are one family. We got to say, family stick together. Family stick together. Yes, family stick together. But with not just with words. We got to go beyond words. When hate, when the door to hate has been opened in the family, it's no longer words. It's no longer words that keep the family together. It has. It's got to do. It. It has to now be spiritual warfare to deal with that spirit of hate in that family and if that spirit of hate is not checked in the family <laughs> untold misery untold misery untold misery issues problems they Look, look, when demons wants to ravish a, ravish a family, there is no limit as to where they go. No limits. I'll show you something. They hated him even more for his dreams. Dreams. Who knows your dreams? Who knows your vision? Who knows your plan? The moment you share that plan with somebody, the moment you share that vision, that plan in your life, the moment you share it with somebody, all of a sudden, that vision, that plan never comes to fruition. Am I thinking or talking? Who has your dream? Who knows your dream? To whom have you allowed your dream to be exposed to? Now, some people, listen to this. Some people, you share your dream or your vision or your goal, your, your, your plans with some people. And that plan doesn't come to pass. It doesn't work out at the end of the day. It's not because sometimes it's not that person. It's not like that person is evil. It's not like the person you told is evil. Listen to this. This will help us. This will help somebody. I, I'm trying to really break this thing down for us to catch it. You share your, your plan with somebody. And all of a sudden, that plan did not work out. And it's been a pattern. It's been a pattern. It's been happening several times. It doesn't work out. It doesn't work out. Every time you share it with this person, it doesn't work out. It's not quite the person. Sometimes, I'm not saying in all locations. That's why you need discernment. Sometimes it's not the person. And I'll tell you what it is. 
when you okay oh we'll just be praying so when you share that dream or that vision or that plan when you share it with that person because in you in you something your spiritual capacity is not solid listen your spiritual capacity your capacity in the spirit is not solid so when you share that plan with someone the problem is not a person it is your spiritual capacity you do not have the capacity as a yet to birth that vision or to birth that plan or to execute that plan and you already you've exposed it into the air so what happens is this because that we are always in a conflict the scripture tells us that we wrestle not against what flesh and blood but we wrestle against what huh let me know if you know the scriptures we wrestle against what and principalities and powers spiritual wickedness where heavenly places not in heaven but in heavenly places so everywhere you stand is heavenly place wherever you stand is a heavenly place and there are warfare going on in the heavenly place so you let that out and that thing that plan is not yet ready to come forth one and then number two your spiritual capacity you your, your spiritual strength your capacity in the spirit is not solid so you share that you share that the the spirit that rules the air in heavenly places that rules the air they pick up on that they pick up on that because you do not have that formidableness you don't have that formidableness to speak something and then it's sustained and protected in the spirit and so that whole thing never comes to fruition it's your weight your weight your weight in the spirit how weighty are you in the spirit these are just say with me every spirit of hate in my life I renounce you every door that the spirit of hate has opened in my life I renounce you hate yeah they hated him now see what they did I'm not gonna be long with this verse 18 chapter 7 yeah 18 now when they saw him afar off who who huh mm -mm. who did they see come on talk to me talk to me family who did they see somebody shout it good when they saw now when they saw him afar off that's joseph joseph was coming to them joseph was bringing supplies from his from his father you know the, the, the you know supplies from his father to his brothers you know kept bringing food bringing them lunch lunch plate or whatever it is bringing them all of that when they saw him he was bringing supplies to them the father of joseph joseph and his brothers the father jacob sent joseph listen to this part how hate operates joseph sent i mean jacob their father sent joseph to give to go give bread to go give food lunch to his brothers in the field he was coming with a blessing he was coming with provision he was coming with help he was coming with water he was coming with food but when they saw him afar off the same person bringing good things into your life 
he is bringing good things into your life when they saw him afar off even before he came near they did what conspired against him to kill him the power of hate hate once you are in that space of hate there is nothing good that anyone does and that that, that, that person you hate there's nothing they do that will ever look good in your eyes the power of hate hate and love they're on the same level hate no let me put hate on the left hate and love they're on the same level just as you love passionately so you can also hate passionately just like you will love so bad you will give everything for love it's the same way when you hate someone when hate comes in that is the same emotion It's the same place It's the same emotion it's just that one is on the light light and the other one is darkness one is right the other one is wrong it, 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 it it's just what it is they conspired to kill him but the scripture says give me the next verse 19 19 you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about this today? You know what I'm talking about this today? I want us to track the door, the opening in our families where things began to go wrong. We're going to track it and then we're going to deal it. We're going to we're going to we're going to deal with it from the from the root. Then they said to one another, "Look, this dreamer is coming. Mockery. Mockery." See what hate, the door that hate is opening. Mockery, this that dreamer. They're not saying our brother is coming. They're not saying Joseph. They don't even say Joe is coming. Say they say the dreamer, the one who is always having dreams. Watch this. Look, this dreamer is coming. Next verse, twenty. Come, therefore, let us now do what. And cast him into some what? Pit. Cast him into some pit. And we shall say some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. We shall see what will become of his dreams. They want to kill the dream. They want to kill the plan. They want to ruin your vision. Ruin your vision. They want to ruin your plan. They want to ruin the purpose of God for your life. They want to ruin the dream that God has put in your spirit. Will they succeed? The enemy is not after you. Doesn't even care about you. The enemy is after the dream that God has placed in your life. The enemy is after the purpose that God has purposed concerning your life. The enemy is after the enemy is after your destiny. The enemy is after what you will become. So if he stops you now, if he can stop you right now, then you won't become that. He doesn't care. You know, it doesn't the enemy doesn't even care that you will become the person that will help them in the future. You see, Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something about witches. Witches. I, I don't like going raw. Because God didn't call me talking about witches and all these things. I, I'm just trying to lay some emphasis. I, I, I don't, these are not things that I'm familiar I'm, It's not like I'm not familiar with. This is not my message. God didn't call me to talk about witches and demons. God called me to preach Christ. But I'm trying to bring something up to us in context. Just in context. My message is Christ, not demons. But listen to this. Witches, they operate on a different frequency than you. A witch operates in a different frequency. A wicked witch, one who practices witchcraft and who executes witchcraft against people, being malicious malicious acts one who does that they don't operate in the same frequency that you operate <laughs> Sean come let me explain something stand here so that we'll be in the light 
because we have the light. That's nice. You got it. Now watch this. Oh, I love you so much. I'm blessing you with this. What will you say? Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. That's human. That's normal, right? That's how it should be, right? Anything apart from that, that's not something's going on. Now, in the witch realm, in the realms of the witches, a gift is express the appreciation of a gift to express his their thank you is to destroy you so he said thank you he's happy he receives it he's happy but a witch is saying they will say thank you but that's just words inside their heart the 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 best way to really say thank you i really do appreciate it is to plan to destroy you joseph was bringing what bringing supplies to his brothers but they when they saw him coming with food coming with water they are not plotting to kill him that's witchcraft that's how witches operate that's how demons operate because the spirit that's what the scripture says suffer not a witch to live because when a witch begins to live and you continue to do good to a witch that witch and you may not know it you're just being kind you're just being kind they're using all of that goodness to destroy you that's, that's how it is and that's why I was saying earlier when we are praying that you must know your boundaries. You must know your limits. You can't give to everybody. You can't give to everybody. Especially when you don't know who is who. You got to be led to give. You can't give to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let us now kill him and cast him into a pit for what his dream and for number two being good to them being kind enough to them to bring supplies to his brothers let let's kill him so me every witchcraft I, are you awake should i turn the air off so me every witchcraft Every spirit of witchcraft operating in my family as a result of a good deed that I've done and they are, oper they are operating against my life today by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I arrest them, I arrest them and I frustrate the works of the enemy. In Jesus' name, give the Lord praise. Now listen. Listen. Number two. Everybody say Abel. Say it again, say Abel. Spirit of hate. Okay. Go to Genesis. Oh, okay, we're still in Genesis. Go to Genesis chapter 5. Go to 5. Everybody say Cain. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Let's look at that. Genesis, as a matter of go to Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. We want, to, we want to touch something very powerful. 
in the area of blood. Everybody say blood. Blood. Okay. Genesis chapter 4. And uh, let's start from 3. Let's start from 3. Are you ready to pray this morning? Genesis chapter 4 and verse 3. Genesis 4 and verse, verse 3. And in the process of time it came and in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. So Cain and Abel were the sons of Adam, right? Cain, pain. Did they bring, did pain come from Cain? And the Bible says that, and, it, and in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Next, let's just rush it quick. Verse 4. Abel also brought of the first born of his flock and of their fat and the Lord respected Abel and his offering all right the Lord respected the offering of Abel and did not respect did not accept the offering of Cain how is that my problem that my brother's own was not accepted by God God even didn't tell them they did it by themselves there's no way in scripture that God told them, come give me offering. Come give me something. They did it by themselves. But Cain offered from the ground. I mean, uh, I mean, from the ground. And Abel offered flock from his flock. Now, watch this. Next verse. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. He did not respect Cain and his offering. You know why God did not respect Cain? Because of what was in his heart. And then his offering meant nothing. And the scripture says, and Cain was very angry. Everybody say angry. 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 Do you see anger in the family? Amen. Do you see anger in the family? Or maybe you are even the person here. Maybe you are someone here. Your anger in the family, your, the anger in your life has caused so many problems. That's why we're dealing with some of these things today. Anger. Anger. Out of anger. Because God did not accept his offering. So, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So once there's anger, hate, all of that, anger, hate, they will seek expression. Anger wants to express itself. That's why when you are angry, you want to let you, just some little child just minding their business, you're going to leash out on anything. Anger wants to express anger as six for expression hate six for expression look at that give me verse five i mean six six but so the lord said to cain why are you angry what's going on young man what are you why are you angry why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen why has your countenance fallen next verse seven if you do well, everybody say if you do well. That if you do right. If you do right, look at it. If you do right, you will, will you not be accepted? Your brother did right and accepted it. No, no, no. no. Let, let me explain why God did not accept the sacrifice of Cain. God did not accept the sacrifice of Cain. Because there was no sacrifice to it. Or let me say the offering, not sacrifice. The offering of Cain. It was not sacrificial. For Abel, he took the life of a beast and offered it to God. Sacrifice. God is pleased with sacrifice. Any offering, any offering that doesn't come from the place of sacrifice is never acceptable in the sight of God. You can't capture God's attention when your offering does not involve sacrifice. As a matter of fact, when your offering, when your offering is sacrificial, God uses that as a weapon to silence the enemy. If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. And it's, hmm, my God. Family, do you see that? Can you see that? What lies at the door? Oh, I can't hear you, family. Come and talk to me. What lies at the door? 
if you do well he says your if you do well will you not be accepted and if you do not do well sin lies at the door and it's and each desire is for you sin so because you have not offered the right sacrifice to God the door for sin is opened that means to say you will never be able to walk right in the way that God is, God is pleased with you because from the beginning your, your offering is not pleasing to God so the door to sin the door to evil is open to you because you have faltered in your offering to God that's why many things go wrong in our lives because we have faltered in our offering to God. We have not been faithful in our offering. We've not been faithful in our tithing. And so that opens the door for the enemy to harass our finances, harass our health, harass our families, harass our vehicles, harass things in our lives. All of a sudden, TVs begin to break. Refrigerator begins to break. The washing machine begins to break. The dryer begins to break. Did you tithe? Have you been faithful? Have you become Needed in your tithes and your offerings to God. I know two people will clap. It's okay. So you clap for me, Sean. Clap, clap, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> and it's 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 desire. It's for you. Sin is desiring to have you and to destroy you completely. Why? The door was open as a result of your inaccurate offering that does not involve sacrifice yes you offered but is it sacrificially <sighs> give me verse 8 I'm done I'm going to pray with us now Cain talked with Abel his brother <laughs> they were talking wow so God accepted your offering wow yeah the moment i just offered that offering phew, it just evaporated to the heavens wow really abel what's the short way to say abel huh abe abe huh Abi? huh abel whatever talking about it they were talking about it and 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 Abel said guess what the moment I offered it to God God took it oh brother Cain so what happened to yours man look let's not even talk about it can, can you believe God didn't accept mine really but what happened I don't know I don't know now watch this now. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, in the field, in the field, in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him and killed him. How is it Abel's fault? The blood of an innocent man. Now watch what goes on. What goes on? Because this is the part I really want to get to for us to pray. Family deliverance. Watch this. Verse 9. Verse 9. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I don't know. And we, by the way, what's my business with my brother? Am I his keeper? Don't, are you not God? Can you, you didn't you take his offering? So why are you asking me? Is it my business? No, find him. I'm not my brother's keeper. You see, he's not even angry with his brother. He's angry with God. Angry against God. Look at that. You tiny little creature that I made the other day. <laughs> Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? Give me the next verse. Give me the next verse. Next verse. Next verse. And he said, what have you done? This is the part I'm going. And then we're going to pray. This is what God says. 
God says this. The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Everybody say blood. Not Abel crying because Abel has died, right? Abel died. So the blood of Abel is crying for expression. Why is his blood so powerful? The blood of innocence is more powerful than the blood of the guilty. When the guilty dies, that is it, that's it. But the blood of an innocent soul. You've been watching, how many of you watch those uh, documentaries on TV and uh, on a case, all those uh, uh, murder files, all those case, all those things, you know. How many of you watch that? I, I, I watch it a lot, you know. You see, people who kill someone in secret, they will hide it so well. Mm, it will still come out. Especially when those people are innocent. The blood, the blood, the voice, everybody said the voice, the voice, the voice of your brother's blood cries out from the ground. Pastor to me from the ground. Give me verse 11. Let's see what more he says about his blood. So now, because that voice is crying out from the ground and you are walking on the same ground are you are you are you there <laughs> you are walking on the same ground the crime has been done you've committed the crime and you're walking on the same ground the voice of the blood of your brother is contained is captured in the ground and you are walking on that same ground and the scripture says so now you are cursed from the ground from the earth which has opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand this is one major way spirits step into families I want to pray the hate the anger the envy the jealousy where is it coming from because let me see let me see let me tell you this before Cain killed his brother he was jealous Come on now, talk to me, family. Come on, talk to me. Before Cain killed his brother, he was jealous. So now you have grown up, you are born into that family, and you see jealousy working in you, and you can't control it. Now, there are healthy jealousies, and there are very unhealthy jealousies. Don't get me wrong, the Bible describes God as a jealous God. So it's not really, that's the good side of jealousy. The good side of jealousy. The good side of jealousy is not a jealousy to hate, to kill, to destroy. It's like you're so jealous about what this person has done or what this person has. And you pray and you trust in God that God will also bless you with that. It's good jealousy. Glory to God. Now, but this kind of jealousy that Cain had was the jealousy that made him slew his brother. He killed his brother. Now you are born into a family and you begin to see the spirit of jealousy in this family. You don't have much history, I mean, much understanding about the history of your family. You don't know things that have been going on. You don't know things about your history, your family history. Most probably, someone in that family had the same spirit of jealousy years ago before your father was even born and out of that spirit of jealousy they did certain things that impacted the family and that family did not remain the same again now you are born you see you have the spirit of jealousy you have the spirit of hate you have this 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 the spirit of anger this wildness to you that once you 
get angry nothing can stop you you the only thing that can stop you is yourself no one can stop you you are ready to destroy anything that comes your way and because of this anger issue that you have you've destroyed your relationships you've destroyed your job you've destroyed your career you've destroyed so many things you've messed up so many things in your life as a result of this anger problem it is not normal it is a spirit coming from the bloodline spirits do not die that same spirit of anger hatred in the lives of Joseph brothers in the life of Cain, let's start from Cain because Cain existed before Joseph. Joseph and Jacob is that same spirit that runs through. We see it happen. Cain killed his brother. Cain killed his brother Abel. The brothers of Joseph wants to kill their brother Joseph. It runs in the family. It runs in the bloodline. And because it runs in the bloodline, you come to a place where you are in a place where you can't control it. You can't control it. Family, you need deliverance if you are that person. You need deliverance. You need help. No psychiatrist, no shrink or whatever they call them, they cannot help you. No anger management class will help. What will help is the anointing of the Holy Spirit coming upon you and that spirit is cast out and your bloodline is, re is, is, re is reset. A reset must take place in your bloodline. And that's what we're talking, we're talking about when we say family deliverance. Somebody say family deliverance. Family deliverance. Where is that anger coming from? Stand to your feet family. Where is that anger coming from? Where is that anger coming from? Where is that hate coming from? Where is it coming from? Where is that rivalry? Where is that jealousy coming from? Yes, you don't know your family history. You're, you're, you're young, you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, you're in your 40s, you're in your 50s. Someone had this thing going on with them before. Or you can even see, you, you, may, you may be able to even track it to your, your parents. Maybe. It all depends. Maybe, maybe not. But guess what? It's something that is running through the thread, the bloodline. The addictions in your life has a trace. The addiction in your life has a trace. Because these addictions, addictions stop you from being successful. Addictions stop you from being successful. Anxiety is also one. There are the spirit of anxiety, extreme as anxiety, no matter how things are going well with you, you are just anxious all the time. Anxiety attacks and all that stuff something there's just something going on and trauma things that have happened in the past lift your hand spirit of god this is how we're going to do it today this is how we're going to do it look at me any aspect of your life through the teaching if there's anything i've said that you feel convicted about not guilty convicted there's a difference between conviction and guilt guilt brings condemnation conviction brings repentance and restoration so you feel you feel convicted it's like I'm talking about you right here it's like I'm talking about you right through the service it means God wants to do a work in your life. That anger, hate, you name it, whatever it is. You are going to find a spot in this house. And by yourself, face the wall. Find a spot, face the wall. And begin to speak to God and 
ask God, take this thing away. Lord, I confess this to you. I have been this, I have been that, I've done this, I've done that. Make these confessions. Find a spot. It's you and God. It's you and God. The reason why you must take this seriously is because we may not, we may not have this kind of service again. You may not have this kind of opportunity again for God to deal with this issue in your life. Every form of addiction, every form of emotional dysfunctional, the emotional dysfunction in your life, anything of that sort, all these things that I've been talking about, maybe, maybe sexual perversion, alcohol, drugs, you name it, all of these things, find a spot and begin to speak to God and ask God for mercy. Ask God for mercy. Ask that the blood of Jesus will be activated in your life to purify you, to cleanse you, to deliver you, to set you free. Find a spot. Find a spot and begin to repent of that. And after that, I'm going to minister to us. Let's do that right away. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Find a spot. Forget about anyone you came with. It's just you now. It's just you now. Salvation is personal. Find a spot. Find a spot. Find a spot. Find a spot. Mashadia. Erabada masotea. let you do the praying I'll let you do the praying I'll let you do the praying I'll let you do the praying find your spot if you are ready God is ready if you want it God will give it God will meet you at that point of your need Holy Spirit, I'm asking. Otabrika sutalia nama sotea. Otabrika sata sata satania kasas. Edebeko sata lima sata lida manda satas. Ele kasanta kasas. Lamba kasote breko sata lia nama sitaya. Are we still live? Holy Spirit, touch your people, touch your people, touch your people, touch your people. Touch your people. Father will repent. Yes. Maybe you are here, you haven't given your life to Jesus. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time. There's no better time than this moment. No better time than this moment. No better time than this moment. Everything running in your family that is none of God. Today, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we're going to visit all that. Father, thank you. Thank you. Talk to him. Ask God for deliverance. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Shaliba Sutekopa. Father, I'm asking for deliverance in this house. 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 My God, I'm asking for deliverance in this house. My God, I'm asking for deliverance in this house. I'm asking for deliverance in this house. Spirit of God, Spirit of God, as they pray right now, Holy Spirit, move upon them, move upon your people. Move upon your people. Move upon your people. I speak to their bloodlines in Jesus' name. Let yokes, let yokes be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Look at me, everybody. If you don't pray, if you don't pray, look at me. 
Look at me. Look at me. Come. Come, ma'am. Who brought you? What's your name? Huh? Shalom. Yeah, stand here. Stand here. Stand here. Stand here, please. Face me. Face me. Face me. Where are you from? Left here. God says, I want to free you. God says, I want to free you. You want to be free? Get the mic. Get the mic with you. Get the mic with you. You want to be free? No, they don't need to hold it. You hold it. You want to be free? Father, thank you. Father's house. I see four ladies. Four ladies. I don't know if they are your sisters. I don't know who they are. You have four sisters? Huh? Huh? One. It's only one that is real. Yeah, I see four of them. And this one that is the real sister. life is not doing well just like you the, the struggles in her life is also in your life and that same struggle is in your father's life your issue is from the line from your father's house that's where it's coming from family let me just say this so that you are aware in order for us to be truly to be truly be ministered today to be in order for me to truly minister to you today you must be patient if you're looking at time when we have this kind of services we don't look at time we don't look at time we don't look at time we give a whole attention to it because I really want to pray with us please forget about time or just don't bother about time unless maybe you have to go to work or something but if it's not work please be patient to receive I don't desire to stay long in a service but when people have to be ministered to, they have to be ministered to. The spirit operating in your family. It started with your uncle. your father's brothers. As my father, this same spirit, this, I see a man die of the same thing going on in this life. Say, like, it's your uncle. This thing killed him. I don't want to say it. Because says, I want to deliver you. I want to deliver you. Lift your hand. (laughs) 
bring her up. Yes. Deliverance is taking place already. God says, I'm going to correct your mind. Lift your hand. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm speaking freedom. Which of your uncle died? Robert. Huh? Robert. Robert. When was that? In the, In the 80s, yes. I know it's a long time. Yeah. Things were not right with him. He was gifted. He had potentials. But he died as a result of some choices that he made. And he went with that choice. He kept living on that, that lifestyle. That lifestyle. It was a bad lifestyle. Put the mic in her mouth. Let her confirm it. True or false? True. Huh? True. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. True. What's happening with the sound here? True. Yeah. Yeah. The father's house. The father's house. The father's house. Have you ever given birth? Yes. How many kids you have? One. One. Yeah. Father, today... What's your name, ma'am? Shalom. Huh? Shalom. Shalom. Holy Spirit! Holy Spirit! In Jesus' name! Freedom permanently! I cast you out. In Jesus' name. Every demonic access in this life. Go! In Jesus' name, be free. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In the life of God life of God the life of God we're going to do something you ready for this huh give me that scripture again that talks about the ground about Cain give me that scripture again because we want to do something prophetic and then we're going to pray for every family Give me that scripture again that talks about the ground. Okay. Good. So now you are what? Cursed from the earth which has opened its mouth to do what? Re to receive your brother's blood from your hand. The ground. The earth. Give me another translation. Let's see if it talks about ground. If it uses the word ground. Another translation. Yes. The message Bible. From now on from now on, you will get nothing. But what? Curses. But what? Curses. But curses. As a result of what he did. Everything else now that he gets is all cursed. From now on, you will get nothing but just curses. From this ground that is crying out. With your brothers, with your brothers blood. Take, all your, take your two shoes off your feet. You heard me? Leave your socks on. If your nails are not done, it's not my fault. Jamie, I got you. Hold your shoes in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Hold it. Hold it in your hand. You like your shoes? When Moses was in the wilderness and God spoke to Moses, what did God say to Moses? Come on now. And then you wore your shoes into this holy ground. No one is leaving this house today with those shoes. You're leaving your shoes here. You're walking home. 
put those shoes in your hand. Hold them. Everybody say ground. ground. Say ground. ground. From now on, you will get nothing but curses from this ground. Say with me, every curse. Okay, hold on. Every family, come stand. Take your place. Push this chairs back. Every family, take your place, like we did last week. Please be careful with. Uh, find your spot. Push this chairs back. Push this chairs back. I told you it's not a church service, right? Let's work. Each family, each family. This is a family. If that's why you, you, you keep coming to church alone, now you don't have any family. You, you keep coming to church alone. Now look at the embarrassment. I'm just joking. Come to church with your family. Yeah. Together? Here? Yeah. yeah. I want to make sure. Oh. Okay. Tess, where's your family? Go help. Go, go be her family. Go help Tess. Go help Tess. Go help Tess. Go help Tess. She's all alone by herself there. Where's yours? Where's your family? Go, go, go help. Go, go join. So that means... So that means this is mine now, right? This is my family. Okay. Okay. You got your shoes, ma'am? Good. Wow, your shoes are so simple. You got family? Huh? You by myself? By yourself? No, come, come. How can you be by yourself? No, 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 no. Sean is busy. Leave Sean alone. Stop it. Take your shoes off. I think I need some new batteries. I think I need some new batteries. Please go to the office and get me some. Where's yours here? Where's yours? This is this your family? Okay. This is yours? Huh? Yeah. Who are you? Brother. Brother. Okay. You by yourself? You alone today? All is well. Okay. Amen. Let's take this moment very serious. Everybody ready? You're on the side together. Who are you? Justin. You on the broadcast? Were you on the broadcast? Okay. 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 Put your put your shoes in your hand. Hold your shoes. You can never tell the places the shoes have been, right? Been to so many places. The scripture says, put that scripture up. Leave that scripture up about the ground. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put that scripture up for me, please. From now on, you'll get nothing. Look at what it says. 
Do you see that? It says, from now on you'll get nothing but curses from this ground. Curses from this ground. Every curse, chain, every curse, every curse, every curse, every curse, every curse, gotta go, gotta break, gotta break. Curses of sickness, diseases, affliction, pain, you name it, all of that, they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go. I got you, I got you, I'll take care of it. They gotta go, they gotta go. Say with me, they gotta go, they gotta go, they gotta go. Now mention your family name. Mention your family name. Mention your family name and begin to pray. Call your family name and begin to pray. Call your family name and begin to pray. Say this. Let me let me let me give an example. Okay? You call your family name. Let's say your family name is Ben. In the name of Jesus, I bring Ben's family. I bring Ben. Ben. The family of Ben. I bring the family of Ben before God right now. Every curse. Every curse. Every curse. Every curse. In the ground of this family in jesus name i uproot it i destroy it i cancel it i disenable it in the name of jesus that's how you're going to pray now go ahead begin to pray begin to pray as you hold those shoes in your hand hold those shoes in your hand this is prophetic someone may criticize it online and say all that stuff don't mind them they are not here they don't know how god is doing things these are prophetic things god spoke to moses and said to moses take the shoes off Take the shoes on your feet. Take it off. Take them off. For where you stand is the holy ground. God was doing a reset in the life of Moses. Moses was an angry man. He was an angry man. Out of anger he slew an Egyptian. He was an angry man. Years later, fast forward. He found himself in the wilderness. And God says, I can, I can use you with this anger. I can use you with this character. I can use you with this nature. I can use you with this kind of emotion that has no control. Out of anger, you slew an Egyptian. Did I ask you to do that? Anger, 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 anger. So, me in the name of Jesus. Now, you're going to mention your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Ben's family. In Ben's family. Now put your name, your family name, your family name. In Ben's family, every yoke, every curse, every anger, every jealousy, envy, competition. In this family, in Jesus' name, be arrested. Everything in this family, every spirit that has opened the door, every actions in this family that has opened the door, for curses in the ground of this family be broken be cancelled be cancelled in jesus name i speak to my bloodline i speak to my bloodline my father's side my mother's side my in-laws in jesus name i rebuke i cancel anything that is manifesting from a cursed place in Jesus name I exempt myself I exempt myself I exempt myself I free my spirit I free my soul in the name of Jesus put those shoes in your hand like this mashata baru masoya Put your hand. Come on, shout out. So may I reverse. I reverse. I reverse. The manifestation of curses. The manifestation of curses. The manifestation of curses from the ground. The blood of Jesus speaks on my behalf. The blood of Jesus speaks on my behalf. It speaks on my behalf. It speaks on my behalf. I am redeemed from the curse. I am redeemed from the curse. The effect of the curses. I'm exempted. When you wear those shoes after the service, to 
be a new person. But there's still more work to be done. See the anger thing? See the anger thing? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you see the anger thing, the anger thing in, in you? That spirit of anger, anger, that you can't control it? That thing has come from somewhere. You must start from today to deal with it. A friend of mine, his name is Victor. I have a lot of Victors in my life who are my friends. And it's not this one that, you know, it's not anyone around. Years ago, he got engaged to a lady. He's a pastor. He got engaged to a lady. Listen to this. Got engaged to a lady. One day he went for prayer. All night. We had all night prayer. He went back. And that lady came to his house in the morning. No, he came. She came to the house at night. She was, he was thinking whatever she was thinking. But her, the, uh, uh, Victor was in there. This guy was in there. So she came back again in the morning. And she just assumed, she just assumed that, oh, he went to sleep with somebody. He went, this guy was sleeping. Went for an all night prayer. We had all night prayer. He was tired. He was sleeping. She unleashed. Broke the TVs. Tore his clothes. He went to pray. They were engaged. They were going to be married. That's it. No marriage. That was it. Same thing happens today. Some of those relationships that ended, they ended because of your attitude. The anger, the envy, the jealousy, the, all of those things. They, but where is it coming from? It came from somewhere. And that's what I'm saying. It's something as we pray right now, you're going to begin to deal with that. You're going to begin to deal with that. You're going to begin to deal with that. You're going to begin to pay attention to that and deal with it. And the only way to deal with it is you seeking God. You got to seek God. You got to seek God. That's the only way you can deal with it. Put those hands. Yes, hold those shoes again. Hold it. Spirit of God. Spirit of God, I speak to my feet. I speak to my feet. I speak to my feet. Everywhere my feet goes, it yields blessings. It yields blessings. It yields favor. Now, I'm dealing with this aspect because many of us are operating, or not let me say many of us, some of us are operating under this kind of curse, whereby everything you touch doesn't work out. Simple things that works out with other people, when it comes to you, it doesn't work out. As pretty as you are, you are still single. As educated as you are, you are still single. You're still single. Meanwhile, your friend with the worst attitude. Let me not say she's not as pretty as you. Let me not say that I'm not going to judge that. They're getting married. Something's not right. Something's not right. Say with me, in the name of Jesus, I speak to my feet. I speak to my feet. I speak to my feet. Let favor be activated. Where these legs go, favor goes. Favor comes. Wherever these feet goes, favor is activated. The blessings of God is activated. Now listen to me. Life does not give you what you desire. It gives you what you want. Demand. You must demand it. I demand. Say it. I demand. I demand. In my life, the blessings of God. The favor of God. In Jesus' name, be activated. May the blessings of God be activated in my life. Look at it again. From now on, you will get nothing but curses. So it means from now on, from now on, I will get nothing but blessings. From now on, from now on, from now on, 
I and my family we will get nothing but blessings 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 in the name of Jesus now the last thing blood let one family come here y'all come put the shoes down stand here Spirit of God lift your hand I'm praying for this family right now I'm gonna go one family after the other join your hand join your hand Holy Spirit I'm speaking right now over this family 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 in the name of Jesus I speak against every curse I speak against every curse father side mother side in-laws I speak against every curse in the name of Jesus everything manifesting in this family in the name of Jesus that is not of God that has brought issues problems in Jesus name I declare freedom I declare freedom I declare freedom I declare freedom in the name of Jesus Sean where? okay in Jesus name freedom 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 hello what's going on let's be let's be in prayer Shalia Dasa Kadianosa Brinas Freedom Freedom Thank you Jesus Shift those chairs back so that we have space This family come Move this, this family come your shoes down what's your relationship that's your husband and that's your son nephew your daughter daughter and daughter and okay okay just want to have perspective you have kids Three kids. Okay. Okay. Sean, uh, Sean, come this way. Okay. Are you ushering? Okay. Okay. Is this same family? Oh, fam. Okay. Why were you not coming forward? So you and Pastor Betty, you were having some church there earlier. Okay. Lift your hand and close your eyes. So this is about family okay family whether it's cousins it's the same bloodline it's the same bloodline holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit you lost someone who is that again your son's father thank you jesus thank you father thank you father Thank you, Father. What are these trucks I'm seeing around you? Trucks. Yes. You own trucks? Is it? Huh? Okay, that's what you do? Yeah. Okay. Spirit of God. Join your hand. Join your hand. Help her with this. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I'm asking now move in this family I speak to the bloodline of this family in the name of Jesus 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 thank you Lord I declare freedom 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 in the name of Jesus I declare freedom over this family I 
declare now i purify i sanctify i consecrate everything that is operational in this family that is not of god every curse that is manifesting be broken is broken is reversed by the power of the holy spirit freedom in jesus name freedom in jesus name freedom in jesus name thank you holy spirit there's a spirit of fear in you god says i should set you free in jesus name be free in the name of jesus in jesus name thank you lord thank you father thank you father thank you father look at me sir there's a lot of wealth that god is going to put in your hand there's a lot of wealth god is going to put in your hand there's a lot of wealth God is going to put in your hand. Never you come to that place where you will undermine this woman. Never. Your prosperity is tied to her. As long as she's in your life, you will prosper. Never you come to that place where you become complacent and you undermine her there will be distractions there are distractions but never you allow it because it's the strategy of the enemy to pull you down be careful there's wealth you've not seen money all well, this little money you're seeing is it's nothing god will bring you to the place where you will not walk you just be having the ink is just going to be flowing This prophecy is conditional. These are the two conditions. One, this woman in your life. And two, God. God. When you seek God and honor God. You go to church? Good. God. God. Seeking God. And this woman permanently in your life. You're going to see. You will rise to a place. You'll be shocked surprise at the favor and the blessings of God when you get there my name is Ben Haley Chris <laughs> thank you father God says you are free anything attached to you anything attached to you that resists you from moving forward and seeing your heart desire come to pass be free in Jesus name thank you Holy Spirit you married you're not married do I have any single <laughs> <laughs> thank you God you desire it do you desire it do you desire marriage okay father thank you for favor Thank you for favor. In Jesus' name. God says healing. Not healing about your child's father. No, that's not healing. There's also another aspect of healing God is talking about. I should tell you. Healing in your heart. There's this wall. The Lord is showing me there's this wall and today God says that wall will be destroyed for you to be open to be loved and to accept love in Jesus name be free pull it down You came alone? Oh, okay, that's fine. Come quick. Come quick. No, wait. Let me deal with this family. Jesus now. Your mom? Your aunt? How you doing, aunt? You good? Your daughter. One of your daughters. You have four, right? Oh, they're there, okay. You have how many kids? Five. 
Jesus' name. You're, you're struggling? I have lupus. Huh? I have lupus. Yeah, you're struggling with health? Yes. How long? Uh, over 10 years, but it's just gotten a little worse. So, so. Put your shoes down. Yeah, put your shoes down. How does lupus work? How does it work? Is that why you have this 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 breakout? Okay. Lift your hand. Who has had it? Who else had it? Did you hear that? Where's the mic? Say that again. My father passed from it and my sister at 42 did. Same sickness. And this is also meant. What happened to them is what the enemy also want for you. That's why you are here. I like that faith. It, it ends with you. I'm sensing jealousy here. When two people clap, others don't clap, is the spirit of jealousy. It ends with you. Are you in any kind of uh, pain or anything right now? Yes. What is the pain? Your back? Okay. Because I'm asking because God is about to heal you and we want initial, we want a right now evidence of your healing. Lift your hand. Close your eyes. We shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Lupus, the curse of lupus, the curse of lupus. I expose you, I disgrace you. This is God's temple. You have no place here. I speak to your bloodline right now. Lupus, get out of this bloodline. Lupus, get out of this bloodline in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lupus, go. Ciao. Father, thank you. Yes, God. In Jesus' name. You've seen changes in your life? Give me the mic. You've seen changes in your life? Huh? Yes. What changes are you seeing? I have more energy in the morning. I get up. <laughs> I'm not always in the bed anymore. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> I found a house. Amen. Huh? I found a house. You found a house? volume on this mic what's wrong here what's, what's the number of the house um it's 30 can i get my phone you get okay get it get it for get it for we can wait we can wait who was here last week and i prophesied about why is your husband not here today i wish your husband was here today is that what okay 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 what's the number of the house Thank you. 
get the other mic. Just scrolling over. 3259. 3259. 32 what? 59. Lord, thank you. New beginnings. God says, I've reset it. I have reset the affairs of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Give the Lord glory. I see you guys were trying to preach with me too. Come here. Come here. Oh, you now is telling them how to move. Brother, sister, brother, all four of you. Y'all need to y'all need to respect this woman. Okay. You know who she is to you? She's not just your sister. She's your mother. This is your mother. This is your mother. Okay? Respect her. What killed your mom will not kill you all. All of you need to be in church because your deliverance is progressive. I want to pray for you first because I'm seeing curves in your hand. Curves in your hand. Curves and cups. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing the number five years. You know anything about that? You have a case in the court? You have a case in the court? Huh? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing five years and I see coughs and cups around you. I'm praying that the spirit that runs in the family in your bloodline that God will exempt you that's why we are here today and that's why we are still here on the, at this time <laughs> lift your hand someone took something from you many years ago and since then you've not been able to get it back it's a mental thing it touches you it's like they took your dignity away from you God says I will restore you now I will restore you now that has created emptiness inside of you do I make sense? yeah there's anger and you've been doing everything to fill this void, this anger. You want to let out. When I was talking, it's like when I was teaching, it was like I was talking to you. Holy Spirit. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse, Jesse freedom comes to you now. <laughs> freedom comes to Jesse. Yes, freedom comes to Jesse. Sean, put your hand on his belly and cast it out. A spirit of anger. Spirit of anger and addiction. Do we still have people on here? Spirit of God, lift your hand. Jesus' name, freedom. Lift your hand. God wants to walk with you, but you must let go of what you are used to 
the old mindset let it go open up to the new learn the new this is a house that God has brought you God wants you to open up and let him walk his work in you the enemy will fight that but don't let the enemy win okay God's hand is on you you hear me God's hand is on you God's hand is on you you all of them you will bring them to Christ and today you have brought them to Christ this is the best day of your life this is the best best day of your life because the deposit here is going to impact them for the rest of their lives may the Lord strengthen you in Jesus name come thank you Holy Spirit Holy Spirit thank you yes sorrow you've not been yourself sorrow sorrow spirit of she's still mourning her loss she's still mourning her loss come i know y'all miss your mom but healing comes 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 okay healing comes In jesus name healing comes yes all those things that are distracting you young lady I'm set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. May the life of Christ, may the life of Christ come upon you. May the life of Christ take over your life. May the Spirit of God, in Jesus' name, and deliverance take place. In the name of Jesus. You will not sell your body. What's up? You made it? When are you guys getting married? Next week? Sometime next week? Is it next weekend? <laughs> you just turned 48 today. Somebody say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. Let me give you a gift. Come, leave her. Leave her. Let me give you a birthday gift. Give me a hand. Give me that oil. I anoint your hand. Do you work? God is going to bless you. give you a key to prosper there's a door that's going to open for you and God will begin to channel some money in your hand I just place some key I just place a key that will unlock financial favor and blessing in your life I just placed it One, people will bless you. People will bless you. People will just out of, randomly, they'll bless you. Then number two, God is going to give you wisdom and favor. You're going to start something like a business, something like a job or a business or something like that that will begin to bring in money. Money is coming to you in these hands. Thank you, Father. Lord, thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the breakthrough in this life. Yes. I speak to your bloodline. I speak to your bloodline. What the actions of your father. The actions of your father in the past that has opened the door for the enemy is broken it's 
broken. Thank you, Lord. The Lord free you from addiction. haven't I prayed for? Where's my family? Y'all going to my house today. I'm taking y'all to my house. Come. I think I'm ready for New Iberia. Healing waves, New Iberia. Come, y'all come. So that means y'all coming to my house, I'm coming to your house. <laughs> What's your name? Who invited you? Who invited you? You deserve, both of you need to deserve some award. <laughs> Lord, thank you. I declare you are exempted. You are exempted. Exempted. What's it with a gas station? Say something about a gas station. Let me pray for God's protection. You drive a white car? Yes, sir. White? Impala. Huh? A white Impala. Because I see a white car in a gas station. I want to pray for protection. And in this white car, somebody jumped into the car. And it's like they were trying to do something to you. Not too late, about eight, nine o'clock. Just be careful. Thank you, God. I want to pray. I want to pray for a repetition, like a cycle. Things, things, keep, things, things keep happening like a cycle in your life. One specific thing. Yeah. Cycle. It's a cycle. A pattern. Spirit of God. And it's like you're, you're attracting the wrong people in your life. Men. Freedom come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, God. What's your name? Terry. Put, put your shoes down. Huh? What? My name's Terry. Terry, where are you from? I'm from Broadbridge. Oh, Broadbridge, okay. okay. God will walk and walk in you. God will walk a 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 walk in you. Jesus. You will win. Look not behind. Look forward. Jesus, mighty name. Good to see you back. 
what the enemy what the enemy meant for evil God is turning it around for your good keep that smile keep that smile going Lord thank you thank you for wholeness how many of you will come if we have a whole night of prayer and prophecy how many, of, how many who will come so that we don't stay long on a Sunday morning we do it at night I know some of you won't come you like your bed you love your mattress you're in love with your mattress from today I declare you are exempted from the things that has been working against you from your bloodline Jesus exempted is it Mexico or California or Jamaica or they just say global where's Pastor Betty shut the back with the kids okay okay thank you Jesus Lord thank you for power deliverance freedom yokes are broken come 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 who is he your middle son what's your name sir huh Marcos. Do you go to church? Come to church, okay? Come to church. God wants to take care of you. Spirit of God, thank you. Freedom. How old are you, Marcus? 42. She's a, he's your middle son. At the age of eight, the age of eight, what happened? Huh? Your oldest son was eight when he was born. Yes. There's something about that number. Lord, thank you for breakthrough. Lord, thank you for your touch. Jamie, come here. Jamie, come here. Come. You both came together. Family. Your uncle. Have you been here before? What was that? Weeks. What's your name, ma'am? Allison. You go to church? Where do you go to church? Okay. Are you from General? You live in Broadbridge? Do you know this lady? Oh, you know her? Oh, because that's the mayor of Broadbridge. <laughs> Who is here again to you? Your uncle? You were here last week? Uh, Justina? Yeah, I said that face is familiar, but it's all shaved and uh, clean up and looking good, man clean cut yeah sup sup <laughs> spirit of God a new level of grace New level of grace. Lift your hand. A new level of grace. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to pray. I'm praying for your health. Okay. Are you praying? Are you praying about your health? Spirit of God. No fear. No fear. No fear. Health and relationship. Holy Spirit, thank you. Patterns are broken. Patterns are broken. Cycles are broken. Strongholds are destroyed. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The designs, the designs of God for your life, you will walk in it.
You know about God's calling on your life? Huh? You know about God's calling on your life? Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Spirit of God. May you be activated. May you be activated. May you be activated. Breakthrough. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. not yours anymore. Stamp on it. Stamp on it. With the two legs. Stamp, stamp on it. Stamp on it. Stamp on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Jesus. Freedom. Who is she? The sister. Who is that one? Who is that? The daughter? Oh, hello. It's a pleasure meeting you. Okay, wait. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Freedom. Take a deep breath. over you the plan of the enemy shall not prosper the plan of the enemy shall not prosper in Jesus name where's your wife work Who is it? You know her? It's okay. It's going to work out. All right? Favor. Activated. Favor is activated. 
you know how God always comes through, right? Okay. Is that, is, is that same God? Who is this? Thank you, God. Bring her here. Why are you praying for her? Take your hand off. You, you, you come for, for doing that. Come here. Come receive yours. Come. For doing that. Come receive. Come receive yours. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, thank you for your daughter. Thank you for your hand over your daughter. Fear has no, has no place in you. Fear has no place in you. Worry has no place in you. You are exempted from every curse. Father's house, mother's house, you are exempted. You are free. You are delivered. I ignite the fire of God in you that will destroy every work of the flesh. The works of the flesh shall not prevail over you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> Amen, family. Come on, give the Lord praise. Why wouldn't I pray for? Come, let me let me let me pray with you. Where do you go to church, ma'am? Powerful, powerful. Will you visit us again? Yeah. God says I'm working something out in your life. God says I'm working. God says, I'm working something out in your life. The plan, the plan of the enemy. God is going to use it around. God is going to turn it around for your favor. God says, do not cry. Do not weep anymore. Do not fear. God says, I got you. Okay? Opportunities, opportunities are coming your way. Favor comes to you. God says, I've got it all together. You are not falling apart. You are coming together. I told God this year, this is my year of freedom. Amen. This is your year of freedom. And, uh, Give me the mic. Let the mic be close to you so that we don't need to travel. You told God what? A new year. I told God in 2024, this year will be my year of freedom, happiness, no more lies, no more deceit. And God told me. And sometimes when I ask God something, I forget about it. And I, he's answering my prayers really quickly. So he's starting to remove things that I was attached to that would make me no good. And he said, you got to remember when I said that, he's like, now remember what you asked. It won't feel good when you're going through it. It's just like you're in the fire, but remember my words say you may be in the fire, but you're not gonna you're gonna come out not smelling like yes. smoke. It doesn't feel good when you're going through it. After the storm, there's always a reminder that God sends his rainbow and sunshine. And it doesn't feel good when it just pain and grief. But if you just stay and stand on his word and his foundation, he will bring you through. You just have to trust. Jesus, my God. While you were talking, I saw like cobwebs around your face. Cobwebs. And the Lord said, I should tell you, all the cobwebs are clearing out. Peace and strength. Hallelujah. I knew someone was all right. Thank you, Father. The Lord makes you whole and perfects your health exempted freedom deliverance jesus mighty name thank you lord oh, it's jasmine thank you lord father thank you for your daughter and thank you for jasmine thank you for her 
we secure that baby we secure that pregnancy in Jesus mighty name thank you for your blessings over your daughter Jesus mighty name thank you Lord Amen I speak to your bloodline I speak to your bloodline freedom 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 hallelujah hallelujah come on give the Lord praise Are you blessed? Let me ask that first. Are you blessed? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Take. <laughs> oh. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth coming to? Is it worth it? Will you be here tomorrow? I mean next week? Yes. Who is coming next week? Thank you for your patience. And thank you for opening up to receive today. Amen. Thank you for opening up to receive today. Are we still live? <laughs> that life should be four hours. That must be the longest life ever. <laughs> but I think this is, what, this is what we're going to do. Some of these services, we're going to move it to night service. Not on a Sunday. So that we have enough time, non-stop, to minister to us. I want us to have a night service. A prophetic night service. Because I'll be honest, I didn't touch everything the way I really wanted to because I was looking at the time. So we're going to have, sometime we're going to have a night service soon so that we have enough time. No one is looking at nothing. We just, it's just a night service. Maybe from like, from like uh, 7 or like 8 o'clock in the evening to maybe 12, 1, just a, a night service so that we have enough time to deal with the issues, prophecy and deliverance and healing and all of that. Amen. Amen. Who wants that? Who wants that? So that's what I think we can, we, we're going to do because we have never stayed this long. It's like, <laughs> amen. But thank you for being patient and thank you for being here. Amen. Can you pull up something happening on the 30th of March? Something happening on the 30th of March. Can you pull it up? Hold on. Hold up. There's something happening. Something happening. Put it up there. Put it up there. I, I, I don't know. There's a guy that... Uh, uh, something something has happened. 18? I'm not that old. Come on. 12. This is going to be awesome. You have it? Oh, Bob, you up? You up? I thought you were still there. Jamie, are you good? Come, Jamie. You're finally free. Say with me, I'm finally free. I'm finally free. I'm finally free. I'm finally free. Finally free. Finally. 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 Jesus' name. You guys don't have it? Tasha, what happened? <laughs> then what's happening again you want to take the other announcements okay let's take our offerings let's take our tithes and offerings amen how many of you want to sow today for the blessing how many of you want to really sow for the blessing today
What's happening on Wednesday at 8 o'clock? Huh? Prophetic flow. Huh? Prophetic flow. What time? 8 o'clock. When? Wednesday. And on Thursday, what's going on on Thursday? Bible study. Uh, two people said it, I know. Bible study at 8 o'clock. How many of you were blessed last week, Bible study, the teaching? You need both the prophetic flow and the what? Bible study teaching. Don't come to prophetic flow and you don't come to Bible study. You need both to grow. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Do you have the flyer ready? You have the flyer ready? Huh? No, not Sunday. What? Do... Hector's birthday was on the 15th. Whose whose birthday is? Uh, if, if you're celebrating your your birthday last week and this week, come to the front. Or, to, or, or today, where is she? Ma yes, yes, yes. Stretch your hand and pray for them. Sean, you want to come pray with them on their birthdays? Stretch your hand, everybody. Just pray with them. Take the mic and just, just pray with them. Thank you, Father. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Bless you. Amen. See you all on Sunday. No, on Wednesday and then Thursday. All right. Thank you all for being here today. Any other thing? You sure? You don't have my flyer? <laughs> well, on Saturday is my birthday. So, remember to say a prayer. Remember to say a prayer for me. Thank you. God bless y'all.